Guys, welcome to game two between Master Ray and Zeddy, aka Qadadu. Upper right hand corner we have Master Ray as the gray Protoss. Upper left hand corner we have Zeddy as the yellow Zerg. This is on Polypoid. And this is again BSL Season 12 semifinal game two between these guys. Master Ray taking game one. And if game one was any indicator, we are in for a fantastic series. Zeddy moving his Overlord towards the bottom left hand corner. I feel like there were moments where Zeddy could have taken game one. Specifically, if he had a defiler in some of these attack forces. If he had maybe opt for... My feeling is, is if he had opted for adrenal glands a little bit earlier and gone for the uh, defiler swarm, particularly hitting that, going for... Uh, try to pull that army back of Master Rays into that upper left-hand corner. I think if he had even snuck out like a expeditionary attack force there. That could have been the difference in the match. But came down... Honestly, I feel like there was that one moment where Master Ray was able to deny that third and just the game entirely shifted from there. Master Ray has a proven position to go ahead and plop a gateway up right-hand corner near his natural expansion. And he's going to end up scouting bottom right-hand first. This time, Zeddy opting for some form of 11 or 12 build. Is going to build the full 12 drones. Indications look like it is going to, in fact, be a 12 hatch, so opting for more of an economic build. This is going to be unharassed by Master Ray. And we'll see if Master Ray... Here's the thing. On a floor player map with the gateway openers, you spot bottom right. You can get that initial zealot building, which is going right now. But even off the 12 hatch... With the spawning pool, to follow it, more often than not, Zerg have, with the timings and everything, end up with enough Zerglings to go ahead and deny initial Zealots right off the bat. Ooh, is that Overlord? That Overlord spots the drone. We do have a drone cross-map scouting. Spawning pool, actually, I take it back. <laughs> Ignore everything I said. The Zealot is making its way forward into this base, and I believe it is going to be on top of that natural expansion, maybe even the main, as the spawning pool is finishing. This is where it would have been beneficial for Zeddy, actually, to have perhaps a Zealot. And let's see, actually, is he going to opt? He's going to go ahead and try to harass. He's going to trail that third drone. But now that Zealot moving forward, spawning pool just now finishing, there are enough larvae to go ahead and build initial Zerglings to deal with this. But here's the thing, the Zerglings are building just now, and that Zealot's in the main. So my timings are off. <laughs> Shows you what I know. The drones are going to have a little bit of disruption. It looks like Master Ray able to stay on top of that initial drone and get a kill. So being annoying at the very least to start, the Zerglings are out. The drone's transforming towards the natural, leading that Zealot away. A second Zealot is meandering across. That's going to, should provoke some additional Zerglings to be built. Zeddy... Dropping the ball a little bit, though, and Zerglings not quite gathering up to deal with that Zealot. Looks like the drone that was being targeted starting to back off. Master Ray now regathering there. We do have a Nexus on the way. Probe harassing that third drone. So a lot of economic disruption on Master Ray's part. First of all, he was able to deny that third. He's able to force a lot of Zerglings early. Able to get an initial drone kill. And I believe this Zealot actually also killed that scouting drone that was moving out there. Probe has finally been killed, but this is going to be a difficult economic start here for Zeddy. And also pocketing that Zealot to get extra Zergling kills. So now he's got a full control group of Zerglings, but there's already a cannon, maybe a second cannon. That sure, I'm waiting to see if there's a second cannon. Looks like he's just going to try to block the front door. But yeah, here's the thing. This is a big investment in Zerglings early. And this is Zerglings that were not drones. Third base being grabbed, and they're just going to have to sit there for a long period of time. That is, just the threat of them out there is causing Master Ray to go ahead and pull a handful of probes off the line. But Master Ray getting a good economic start to this. And now with that additional Zealot out, he can go ahead and back these probes off. Game one, we saw three hatch dedication to Hydra, Contain, and Bust. It almost wasn't exactly 973-ish, but it was very reminiscent. Layer being upgraded. 
this time. So we're going to see three hatch, I assume, three hatch spire. Stargate is already on the way. Overlord going to be able to meander up, see that Stargate. And needs to get a move on after that. Because sometimes you can salvage, we are seeing that Spire. Sometimes you can salvage that initial Overlord if you get enough distance. It looks like he took a considerable amount of early cannon damage though. Second cannon warping in. I don't think the Spire is going to be in time before it. So the Corsair should be able to... <laughs> We'll see if I can make this call right this time. Corsair should be able to get into Master Rays of Master Rays, get into Zeddy's base. See, in fact, that Spire is being built and maybe follow up. And honestly, actually, I feel like with all of the delays, Master Ray might feel comfortable just going after the Overlords. The thing is, just going after the Overlords. Oh, this is going to be critical. Okay, going up, he sees an additional hatchery. But what he is going to want depending on how many Mutalisks end up being produced. And it looks like actually, as the Spire's finishing, it's only gonna be about, Zeddy is not really, he's gonna have to go for Scourge here. Because he wasn't quite saving Larva or saving gas um, or minerals in position to go ahead and hit the timing. So yeah, he's gonna go ahead and produce initial Scourge, drop down Hydvost Den and SimCity is front. Corsair moving out, starting to hunt Overlords. The Overlord is going to survive here. I still think they're very much at risk. Depends, again, on how effective these Scourge are here. Scourge moving forward. Master Ray now trailing. Getting inside the base. The Scourge indicate, okay, yeah, we got Spire. But what he really wants... Loses that Corsair right there. Really what he wanted to do is also check this natural expansion, get a good look, and see if that second Vesping Geyser was up. A, another hatch being planted at the natural expansion and at the third. So Zeddy continuing to press economically, using Scourge much like a Corsair, seeing the three gateways up. Photog cannons warping in for mastery defensively. And this is where not having that Corsair kind of out, he's, he's basically respecting the, the Mutalisk play here right there. And I feel like what this is allowing us is this is allowing Zeddy to go ahead and pump economically and kind of catch a breather and catch up in the game overall after that initial Zealot harass. Dropping two Evolution Chambers. So he wants to get it done on the ground. Level 1 weapons just now finishing. But also level 1 weapons for the Corsairs being upgraded by Master Ray. So he wants to control the air. One Scourge being picked off. I think seeing this whirling cybernetics core has to be a big indicator to him. Already grouping the Hydralisks around the Overlords. He is getting that Hydralisk range to provide that support. And both players just sitting back, going for more of a macro-oriented game, playing very defensively. Fourth Gateway being plopped down for Master Ray. He's already got the three Corsairs. Fourth Corsair on the way. Zeddy building a good amount of Hydralisks, but I believe this is mostly for a defensive effort. A probe somehow snuck by all of these Zerglings. The Zerglings still having trouble <laughs> taking that out. Additional base being grabbed by Zeddy at the 9 o'clock location. He's looking to play another long-term macro game. He's getting missile range for those Hydralisks and grouping up in bunches. I will be curious to see if he opts for the Funimanized Carapace upgrade sooner rather than later. Right now, he's moving those Hydralisks towards the front to be able to engage Master Ray's Zealots as they'll be coming out. Level 1 Weapons is already finished. Zealot Leg Speed will be there momentarily. The Hydralisks pressing up and doing some free damage on these hold position Zealots and Master Ray not responding by pulling them back. I guess he doesn't have a lot left to to respond to this. Now the Zealot Leg Speed kicking in and he's responding. But this is a lot of Hydralisks. A good amount of Zerglings. The Zerglings moving their way back eating some cannon damage for free as a result though. And Master Ray dropping additional cannons 
to try to defend against this, and that is good news for Zeti. Slow that economy down. Psystorm is a ways off, but on the way. I think Zeti really just wanted to present this Hydralisk force, not as a game-ending maneuver, but to do exactly this, to deny Master Ray information and to provide essentially a big threat at his natural. Might be able to get a gateway here. Psystorm just about finished. I think the Hydralisk saw those High Templar peeking forward and they're going to go ahead and back off. Not able to critically get that forge that's upgrading level 2 weapons on the front. Master Ray grabbing three additional gateways. Does have a big Corsair fleet, but really hasn't ventured out just yet. Lurker Egg morphing there on the front. That might be... That might force a cancellation. Psystorm over that Lurker Egg. Yeah, forcing the cancellation there. And more Zerglings starting to scoot out to try to support these Hydralisks to make sure Master Ray, yeah, sits back in his base. I think Master Ray mostly positioned to go ahead and establish his mineral only. Might be able to get some good Psy Storms here. High Templar just short on energy to do so. The Hydralisk army going to go, the Hydraling army going to go ahead and back off. And both players kind of regathering their forces. A handful of Lurkers, Zeti posturing more for their defensive position. There are Zealots of Master Rays moving forward with these High Templar. They might be able to Psy Storm over that third mineral only. Trying to catch the Lurkers. Keep in mind, no observers overhead just yet for Master Rays. His robotics facility just now building. Very similar to game one. Psystorm's expended. Zeti is in the red, losing some overlords in those exchanges. But Master Ray in position to go ahead and take his third base. He's going to have. He's going to just back up with his High Templar. Both players kind of just going for little forays at one another. Looks like Zeddy is going to pick up two High Templar kills. Still going to press in to go ahead and try to deny this third. Lurker not burrowing and going to get wiped out as a result. And the Hydralis is not engaging the fight either. So a bit of a... I'm not sure if that was a miss rally or a miss move. They're going to go ahead and try to exit and stay alive. But I believe Master Ray is going to be able to hold this without too much further trouble. Some Zerglings moving out. Looks like maybe he's thinking about a pincer maneuver. Yeah, Zerglings re-engaging. I'm not sure about this attack from Zeddy. Particularly with the, the upgrade difference. The Hydralis sneaking in from behind, able to pick off the Dragoon. But with leg speed and honestly at a bad angle, these Hydralis are still going to be taken out. And the cannons are going to warp in in plenty of time with the closer reinforcement point. The rest of this army going to go ahead and get cleaned up. At the very least, what this does is that allows Zeddy to, with that attack, establish this bottom left hand base without much trouble. But while all that was happening, the Corsairs have been finally out in flight. I missed that. Gray on the minimap. I don't pick it up as much. Able to sneak out, and let's go ahead and get a kind of look at the kills. It looks like three overlords were killed, and I think that was in that initial attack over the mineral only that I missed. Hydralisks actually just letting them sit there. It looks like Zeddy being patient with this. I like this play. Being patient, trying to gather up enough Hydralisks where he can pick one or two of them off without Master Ray noticing. And if he can focus fire... Ah! Getting close. Got two very, very weak. This is critical that Master Ray is just letting this happen. Finally reacting, but loses two Corsairs. And he's going to take a little bit of damage. Honestly, if Zeddy was a little bit more patient with that, he might have even be able to, to take bonus on top of that. Trying to work on some Overlords. Sees all sorts of Lurkers spawning right there and actually able to get another two Overlords. <laughs> They're waking up just in time. Third Corsair. That Yeah, this isn't worth, though. Yeah, okay, you're able to take out a few additional Overlords, but that Corsair fleet is valuable for scouting information, for the, the counterattack threat. Zeddy going ahead and starting to mine that bottom left-hand base. Finally, Master Ray using them to scout. Sees that that 9 o'clock is functional. Gets has a good look at that drone saturation. Might be able to get an additional Overlord. But they need to be careful. Because Hydralisks are coming up to go ahead and support. Zerglings sneaking into that mineral only. Finding nothing there. And it looks like, while I was looking at that, the rest of these Hydral Hydralisks were able to wipe out the remaining Corsair fleet. Even on supply, Master Ray sitting on three bases trying to press and establish his 3 o'clock base. Zelt's able to clean up Zerglings to the south. Cannon's warping on that lower line, just in case there's a sweep around attack. Zeddy, making his way to Hive Tech, is sitting at 5 bases comfortably. Is fairly well saturated at all of these bases. Bottom left is still working on it. It looks like he's actually going to go ahead and migrate up to go ahead and grab an additional base, playing very economically aggressive. Master Ray, 
has gone gateway man, is up to 10 gateways, has his robotics facility up, is actually getting a shuttle, perhaps go for more drop play like he did in the previous match. Has not... Is uh, doing a decent job with the upgrades. Overlord's fanning out absolutely everywhere. Level one weapon, lo level one weapons on spines, level one armor on Zerg side master ray at level two weapons, level three on the way, skipping level two armor looks like. So upgrades not as imbalanced. This time we see adrenal glands being upgraded much earlier. I like that by Zeddy. Dragoon sneaking up and going ahead and clearing out some overlords to the 12th o'clock. I love also, look at this vision from Zeddy. Overlords everywhere has a lot of map control as a result of that. Well, not map control. He's got vision. Map presence. I had an argument about this a long time ago. And actually, Shamtude's stream. <laughs> Currently, Master Rage is continuing to macro up all four bases. Observers at various locations for Master Ray, so his vision actually not that terrible either. Oops. He's starting to gather up with a Dragoon Zealot Force. I'm not seeing a lot of High Templar mixed in. No Reavers yet as well. But the army has been a little bit uh, outside of this Lurker field right there. It's been mostly Hydralis, Hydraling. Level 3 weapons in place for Master Ray, so he does have superiority as far as just pure gateway man these units moving up that observer well behind the rest of this army so a lot of unnecessary hits across this initial attack force it looks like zeddy regrouping across the middle to go ahead and flank so kind of doing a sandwich attack scourge able to take out that top observer but not before all the lurkers were taken out and now the dragoons yeah just getting sandwiched this entire army gonna get wiped out it is a massacre Pinned into the wall. Great engagement from Zeddy. And Master Race supply plummeting. And Zerglings with Adrenal Glands on top of Dragoons. It is brutal. I believe that should make him comfortable to go ahead and take that 12 o'clock if he wants it. Zeddy sitting at all sorts of bases. He has control over the 12 o'clock essentially. No, he's going to go in and press this advantage. Some Psystorms blanketing that initial attack force. The Psy Storm continuing to blanket. More reinforcement zealots at the 9 o'clock. And more Zerglings flooding in from the north. Mastery putting up a solid defense. Finally, the Lurkers joining this fight against this really zealot-heavy Vanguard. There's only the cannons to provide detection. They're getting wiped out. The Archon, very low. It's getting wiped out. And with another round of reinforcements from multiple locations, it is possible that Zeddy could take this base. Two more Psy Storm. It looks like th four more Psy Storm should be there momentarily. But cannons being reestablished. There is no Defiler just yet. One Psy Storm for one Lurker. Lurker's sweeping in from the south. And keep in mind, this is very Zealot heavy there. So these Zealots are not going to be very long for life. The high temp the Dark Temple are getting wiped out regardless of detection. Another Psy Storm only catching two Lurkers down below. So this is going to force a lot of expansion. A lot of those size storms to be expended on very little and more reinforcements pouring across from Zeddy. Master Ray really needs to hold this base to stay economically relevant. He's continuing to stay low on supply. Just can't get an army. He's just throwing units to try to defend this. More lurkers. Sorry, the lurkers continuing to pound away at that mineral only. Hydralisks rejoining the cannons almost wiped out. The lurkers now pressing forward. Another good size storm. But Zeddy is relentless. More Zerglings pour pouring forward to try to engage this. The Lurkers have finally been cleaned up. The cannons are completely down, but reinforcements from Master Ray at the close reinforcement point might be able to just hold. Looks like some Zerglings got in the probe line, but weren't able to get a kill. Master Ray trying to get another cannon up. More Zerglings moving their way across. I don't think their speed upgraded. And Master Ray holds. So Zeddy expending an immense amount of troops, not able to take out this mineral only. He has been able to establish his base bottom left. He is keeping Master Ray to four bases. But he's not getting any headway in taking any of these bases down. 
Still no Defiler Mound that I'm seeing as well. Additional hatcheries being plopped down. A lot of mining bases. He honestly can play, wow, all sorts of hatcheries. Wants to just get it done. It looks like with what he has on the ground. Level 2 spines, level 2 carapace on the hydralisks, but this is level 3 weapons, level 1 armor comparatively. Master Egg gathering an attack force. It's starting to press out. Zeddy ending all the way around is going to have to come back to home base. These lurkers aren't even burrowed as of yet. And it looks like Zeddy, is he just going to attack this? All sorts of cannons right there. He honestly needed this to perhaps provide some defense against Master Ray's attack force or maybe wipe that out. Master Ray retreating to the 12 o'clock. Establishing that. Zeddy not getting anything accomplished at the mineral only. Zeddy in a situation where I feel like he has economic control, but the way he's engaging a lot of these expansions... It's not turning around, I feel like, in, in overall advantages for the long-term game. However, what he has been able to do is prevent Master Ray from taking additional expansions at the very least, while he's continued to apply this pressure. More lurkers gathering up. Observers are there to go ahead and engage. This is kind of a piecemeal attack, coming in a little bit at a time. Beautiful sidestorms from Master Ray, catching a large bulk of this army. Reinforcements from that 12 o'clock swinging around, cutting these Hydralisks off. And again, more fight over Miss Master Ray's mineral only, and Zeddy still not getting headroom. But he is up to 73 drones, which is honestly a little bit too many. He's sitting at four bases compared to Master Ray's two. And if he can just continue to apply the pressure, he will starve Master Ray out. Master Ray mining at the three o'clock. Does not feel comfortable taking additional bases at this stage, particularly with all of the assaults that have been happening at that mineral only. And Zeddy up about 20 supply. Some overlords now being assaulted out in open field, but that's kind of giving vision to Zeddy that Master Ray is starting to make movements to go ahead and reestablish some map control. I'm looking, we have Hive Tech. I am looking for defilers to support this army. Especially given, wow, five hatcheries down here. Especially given just the sheer volume. The sheer volume of army that Zeddy can produce. But I'm not seeing any anything of the sort just yet. A drone fighting a probe here. The other problem is, yeah, it's like 170 supply for Zeddy that he can basically continue just Sauron Zerg it. But at the same time, the way it's kind of flooding across the map, it's, yeah, in these lines into Master Ray's army where they're just getting engaged and wiped out. A little less effectively than I think Zeddy is hoping for. Trailing Psystorms might be able to catch some Eye Templar here. But you can see the Zealots able to turn around, wipe out a full control group of Zerglings. Regardless, this is still providing map control and denying Master Ray additional bases. Master Ray actually in the red here. Zeddy setting up to go ahead and establish that 12 o'clock base. Master Ray trying to take this mineral only in the bottom right hand corner and just generally establish the right hand side of the map. And I think eventually he is going to be able to do so. Even Supply. Just now starting level 2 armor, so a little bit slow on that. Again. Looking for it. Ultralisks are being produced. Looking for the cavern. Ultralisk cavern, chitinous armor being upgraded. Mastery diving to the bottom left. Zerglings rallied, it looks like, to that mineral only to go ahead and deny it. But Master Ray's already out of position and is going to start trying to wipe out this bottom left-hand base. If Zeddy can hold on for a little while longer, he will be able to just overproduce. I don't know what overproduce is the right word here. He's going to be able to produce a mass amount of Ultralisks. Master Ray sweeping to the 6 o'clock location, hoping to catch a base there. Finding nothing does put Zeddy in the red by taking out an Overlord. That's seven Ultralisks being produced. I don't see a lot of Archons on the ground. There are a lot of Zealots. And with that army pinned to the 6 o'clock, Zeddy re-engaging initially and doing a little bit of an assault on that mineral only. And again, it feels like Zeddy... Again, with the economic 
advantage is just not capitalizing, is not really st killing the army, is not... He, the one thing he, again, is managing is just leaving Master Ray uncomfortable enough where he's not taking additional bases. But now the tides are starting to turn. We're seeing a lot of Ultralisks out in the field. The speed upgrade's going to be there momentarily. And this should be enough bulk to go ahead and wipe out that mineral only, but that's as that base is already getting wiped out. A lot of Psystorm in these High Templar to engage us. A lot of Zealots fanning out to engage as well. Keep in mind these are level 3 Zealots, but this is level 5 Carapace. Just endless storms on top of these Ultralisks, but it might not matter. Five Ultralisks still standing. Master Ray down to just one mining base. Trying to bring up reinforcements to go ahead and engage this Ultralisk army. That Nexus is down. Master Ray in a lot of trouble here. Just because he's let Zeddy grow too large too long. He's only mining at this 3 o'clock base. Has no map control. Zeddy feeling comfortable enough. He's going to go ahead and take this inside mineral only at the bottom left hand corner. He can just take whatever bases he wants. He's got a huge bank. He's taking the 12 o'clock base, which lets you know he's really not fearing any sort of overwhelming attack from Master Ray. Master Ray engaging with the Ultralisks, actually engaging and backing off, allowing those side storms to be expended. The High Templar are a little bit exposed to these Zerglings. And honestly, I'm expecting GG after Master Ray's army gets wiped out. He, he just has no ability to take an additional base here. And the Ultralisks continue to file out. The Zealots melting to the left. The High Templar completely exposed in between. And they're not even casting Psystorm. Finally another Psystorm, just in time to catch some observers. Zedding flooding through, engaging units across the middle only, just squeezing the minerals out of Master Ray, and there's GG. Zeddy takes game two. Through just overwhelming economic dominance. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been a fun series thus far. We will move on to game three.